going to show you all today how I do instant locks. So we're going to start with this right here, and we're going to end up with this result right here. So stay tuned, and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, there's nothing really wrong with this grid, but some of the lots are uneven. Um, so what we did, we did a complete takedown, and I went ahead and shampooed his hair. So the shampoos I use are Design Essential products, and I'll put the um, links down below as to where you can get those products. After I completely shampooed and cleaned his hair, we did a deep condition treatment. After the deep condition, I went ahead and oiled his hair with some essential oil blends and then I also sectioned the hair off completely and blow dried it until it was mostly dry. And so the reason why we want to do a deep condition is so that the hair can remain soft um, because this is a tedious process and using these sharp crochet needles can actually rip the hair. So doing the deep condition is essential to um, make sure we don't damage the hair when we're doing the instant locks. Also, if you're new to using these crochet needles, I suggest um, to get a thimble of some sort. You can get it at a Walmart or any um, arts and crafts store to help protect your fingers from any pokes or scrapes. So while you're in the store picking up those thimbles, go ahead and grab this pink crochet needle that you see that I'm using. It's a really small crochet needle. Um, you can get it out of any Michaels or Hobby Lobby, I believe, and it is a 0.6 millimeter. That's the size of it. And since um, crocheting and um, the instant locks and the lock extensions are so popular now, you can actually buy the other crochet needles that I'll be using in this video from a um, beauty supply store or you can order it off Amazon. Um, they're all about a 0.75 millimeter and the other one I'm using today is going to be a two prong needle. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm about to talk you step by step by what I'm doing. So I'm using the two prong crochet needle that I was just speaking about. It is a 0.75 millimeter. Um, each crochet needle is 0.75 millimeters and it's two on that crochet. So what I'm doing now, his hair is completely dry and is stretched to the maximum. If not the maximum, almost stretched all the way. And so what I'm doing is you can see that I'm rolling his hair in between my fingers and I'm gently going back and forth with the crochet needle. So I stress the word gently because like I said earlier, we don't want to rip the hair and damage it and it'll cause more problems down the road. So you want to make sure you're taking your time and you're just rolling that hair in between your fingers and just going right in with that double prong crochet needle to um, form that lock. Also, I'm not going to go all the way down to the scalp. Um, it's not necessary. Um, and locks, when they're formed regularly, they um, you, you will never have locked roots anyway. So what I'm doing now, I'm still doing rolling the lock between my fingers or the hair between my fingers. And I'm creating the lock by rolling the hair between my fingers and poking it with the crochet needle. Just going back and forth with the crochet needle. And as you can see, we're almost there, but it's not quite firm enough yet. So what I do now next is I take that 0.6 millimeter crochet needle and we're going to make this lock tighter. So how do I make it tighter? You go ahead and you take that needle and you're going to pluck upward to make frizz. So I'm pulling that frizz out that I just made and I'm wrapping it around the hair and pulling it over to the left side. And what I do after that is I take the crochet needle in and pull that hair from the left side all the way to the right side. And I continue to do that. So pluck the hair, make some frizz, wrap it to the left, and pull it through to the right. It's like a little song. Pluck the hair, wrap it to the left, <laughs> and pull it through to the right. So I continue to do that to help tighten up that lock and make it more firm.
And as you can see, even though I'm um, plucking for this last step, I'm still rolling that lock between my fingers. And so now we'll have this end piece and I just take it and tuck it up and pull that hair through to the other side. Just continue to do the same steps to tighten up the lock. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and just um, rub it between your hands really quick. <laughs> and so he plays sports. And so what I'm going to do, I would normally retwist the, the hair and clip it down, but he plays sports. So we're going to interlock his root instead, just so that like he has the freedom to shampoo his hair more often if he sweats a lot, and also it won't his hair won't sweat out as much or puff up as much because of the interlocking. And it's also it'll result in less visits also. When interlocking your hair, um, a um, new interlock isn't necessary until about six to eight weeks from your previous interlock because it just you just want to interlock the new growth, of course, and it just goes by how long the new growth of the root is. And so in about six to eight weeks, it'll be about an inch long. Okay, so I'm going through the steps one more again. <laughs> And so, like I said, roll the hair between your fingers and use that two-pronged needle to go ahead and form that lock, base of a lock, I mean. And so, here's the action of me using the smaller crochet needle. So, pull it through to the right. I already made the frizz. Pull that frizz to the left and pull it through to the right with the crochet needle. So, make more frizz, wrap it to the left, pull the crochet needle pull the hair through with the crochet needle to the right it's kind of a tongue twister and no um i know it looks like i'm jerking him around it was actually pretty painless i asked him throughout the entire process if he was comfortable he let me know that it didn't hurt and it wasn't a problem um, also with the interlock you don't want the interlock too tight to the scalp that'll cause tension and you um can actually pull your hair out from that so less is a lot more so he's not being hurt and the interlocks are not tight so. this entire process from the shampoo down to the very last lock being installed and him sitting on the dryer for a few minutes afterwards it took about six hours um give or take a few minutes here or there So he'll maintain his instant locks just like you would maintain a head of fresh baby locks. So basically he's going to use a do-rag at night time to help hold his hair down to keep away the, um, the friction of like sleeping at night time on a pillow. So I like to call them babies or baby locks. So when you think of a baby you want to swaddle your hair. So wear something like a head wrap a bonnet would not be good enough because your hair is fairly new so wear something like a hair wrap to tie your hair down with or maybe a do-rag if your hair is um somewhat this length a do-rag would do perfectly also and when you awake in the morning you're going to want to moisturize your hair so water is enough it could be enough but you can also use like a water mixed with an essential oil so, or just like a vitamin E oil in a water bottle. You don't want to drench your hair, you just want to lightly mist it to wake it up a little bit. Um, and throughout the week, just probably twice a week, you wanna, you're going to want to oil your hair and scalp. So the oil is going to seal in that moisture from the spray bottle with mixed with the water and oil. So on the days that you do oil your hair and your scalp you want to do so after you mist it with your moisturizing product i love all things hair but i especially enjoy doing lock extensions and instant locks um so thank you all for joining me on this video and watching this quick tutorial can you believe this was like a 40 minute video i cut down to just 11 minutes but anywho, let me know what you think about my process in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns or if you have any tips for me. 
So go ahead if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button at the beginning of this um, video or hit the subscribe button on my page. And then also go ahead and like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, go ahead and just dislike it and let me know why you disliked it in the comments. Um, yeah. And also, if you are having a hard time with like seeing any of the process that I'm doing, try to go to the settings in YouTube and slow it down just a tad bit because this was an impromptu live that I did on Facebook that I decided to post onto YouTube. So I actually sped it up so that it can be formatted into this smaller video. Also in the comments below, let me know if you would like to see me try another lock technique or any lock styles or anything like that. Hey, I might even just post the retwist video, but get a look at this end result here. Once again, thank you all for joining me on my video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything and I hope you learned something. Um, and he really, really loved his hair. <laughs> so until next time, natural again now.